Are the Kansas City Chiefs a win-now team? And I asked this question simply because Tom Bahali said that he wants to win. And obviously, I think everyone wants to win, but I think he wants to win it all. He wants a Super Bowl ring. And when you look at the Chiefs, they're a mixture of older players and younger players, both being their stars and both being their depth right there. Because when you look at it, you look at Tom Mahali, Justin Husick, Derek um, Thomas, or Derek Johnson, Alex Smith, they're all on the older side. And when I look at that, I see a team that's probably hungry to win something right here. And Alex Smith maybe has a chip on his shoulder that he could have maybe won something in 2012 if he played a little bit better and he never lost his job to Kaepernick. And that's something I really understand because these players are definitely on the older side. And these are um, important players to their team. And yes, I do believe Alex Smith is overrated. I have um, also another video on Travis Kelsey that's overrated. If you want to click on those videos, they're in the description if you're interested. But when I look at them, their older team, it's a hungry team that's supposed to win now. And I look at Andy Reid. Andy Reid would love to have a Super Bowl ring under his belt. But also when I look at their older players, I also brought they have a bunch of young players. I think one player in particular that's um, very young is Tyree Kill. A lot of people enjoy watching Tyreek Hill. He reminds me uh, a lot of Percy Harvin in 2009. That's um, He was very impressive. You also got Travis Kelsey. I think he's overrated, but um, very talented, fast tight end. I will give them that. He is talented, but overall, he's a young player. Marcus Peters, same thing. He's their version of Brandon Flowers. And you got Patrick Mahomes. Now, I'm not a big Patrick Mahomes guy. I look at Patrick Mahomes as very talented, but has terrible mechanics. He's just not polished. And NFL draft profile consider him to be a Jay Cutler, that profile-wise. But some people, similar to John Gruden, would say he's the next Brett Favre, which is very interesting to look at. And when I looked at these players, at Patrick Mahomes specifically, I see a player that's kind of going to take some years on to polish. Now, one thing that's a big question is since you have these like young players and older players do you think that's going to create some tension in the locker room because one thing for sure if if you're looking at Tom Lee who's dedicated to win if Alex Smith is missing wide open targets deep down the field. I don't think Tom Holly is going to feel very good. And maybe these players will part somewhere else, or maybe the Chiefs will just go younger sometime because they just don't feel confident into what the team that they have. I feel like they are pretty confident. The Chiefs are considered to be the second um, um, biggest threat to the New England Patriots. I would personally say third because I would put the Raiders at number one then I would probably put the Texans ahead of the Chiefs. Not because the Texans are necessarily better than the Chiefs. I think the Texans match up a lot better than the Chiefs. And also Bill O'Brien knows how Bill Belichick works. So when I look at this, I look at the Chiefs. They're a very interesting team. They might miss the playoffs next year. I think I'm predicting for them to miss the playoffs in 2017. But overall, it's a good roster. They're looking hungry. They're looking for a Super Bowl. And overall, what do you guys think? Do you think the Chiefs are a win-now team? Or do you think they're a team that should eventually scrap away if they're older players, similar to Tom Holly, Derek Johnson, Justin Hughes, and Alex Smith, etc.? All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.